Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. I cannot believe it is time to move into my planner for April. Um, so for those of you that are new, I do a transformer planner with three sections. My seasonal catch-all, my um, social media dashboard, and my fitness and wellness. And so these are the sets of covers I've chosen for April. Lots of blues and teals and cool colors um, for because I'm like I said I'm, I'm mainly seasonal so I always feel like April showers bring May flowers so I've got this set of covers that I made um, with some Planners Anonymous papers and a matching bookmark um, and I'm going to put these on my catch-all with the rain theme this one I chose because um, it's got it's in the same color family with the blues and it's got books and whatnot so um, this one I'm going to put on my social media section um, and I'm going to show you how to set up a transformer planner and then this one is also all three of these are planners anonymous this one um, I just got the Michaels sticker book and I will link the flip through in the description box but this one I just love like the lotus flowers and the mandala and whatnot so this one's going on my wellness I'm going to use these discs um, this month they're I got them from Inked United on Etsy. They're kind of a, a light teal color. I mean, I thought it, they went well with all three of the sets of covers. The only thing I'm thinking is um, they might not be big enough. So I have these uh, Levenger discs that are slate gray. Um, if I do too much Franken planning, use too much scrapbook paper, and this starts to get too tight, I can switch these out mid-month. But we're gonna give these a try. So let's get started. To set up my Franken planner, I'm sorry, well, it is a Franken planner, but it's a transforming Franken planner. The first thing you're gonna do is just pick one of your sections. So for me, I'll just start with my catch all, and I'm gonna put my front and my back on, on my discs, just like you would if you were setting up a normal, a normal new planner or a notebook, or if you printed your own pages, you'd start, um, by putting your covers on the discs. And I just have the front and the back cover that I'm holding together and I'm putting my nine discs through the punches. All right, so we open this up just like a normal planner. I do reversible covers. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is get over here. So I'm using the Cat Lady Planner as my catch-all. So I'm gonna bring over my name page and the perpetual calendar the first few pages I'll pop these on the discs they're really floppy right at this point but that'll that'll change soon all right and of course it's got january on the back of the perpetual calendar that's okay so the next thing i'm going to do is grab my catch-all archive because obviously i can't fit 36 months in this planner what i do for mine is i do previous month previous month current month and next month. So since I'm setting this up for April, March is gonna be my previous month, April my current, and May my future. So here's, I'm flipped to my divider. This is the divider in my archive between the used months and the future months. I'm gonna move February over. So I'm gonna pull February out of my planner. It's off camera, I can't fit everything on camera. And move it over. February goes into my archive. I'm gonna bring March into here next. Just removing the divider, I mean the, um, the bookmark. So March is coming over as my previous month. And this vellum sheet, I just filmed a video on how I make my seasonal vellum sheets just to bring a little seasonal touch to my Cat Lady catch all planner. So then April, it's going to be, will be my current month. So put April over here. And here's the divider. This is the video. The video is about making this, this seasonal sheet. So again, with the April showers, bring May flowers. And then I'm gonna go back into my archive and grab May. And May already has a divider a piece of vellum printed for it. I actually did that was one of my very first test 
sheets of vellum so so there's May so that is everything for my catch-all planner I can put my archive away so my archives are just um, placemats that I got at Dollar Tree or Walmart one of those and then this is a, a, a page of a back-to-school plastic folder that I cut to size and punched so that's all I mean my archives are not anything fancy just anything that'll protect the pages inside a front and a back cover and a divider in the middle to mark my place and then I do have a small um, notes section at the very back of my catch-all planner that I want to bring over all right and I'm gonna go ahead and put my bookmark back in so it's actually the very last week in March when I'm filming this so I'm gonna go ahead and put my bookmark in there there we go okay and so I always do flip throughs um, of my spreads as part of this process. So my March spreads, here's my monthly. I did a rainbow um, with more of the shamrocks. Loved that, so pretty. And then here's my first week still with the rainbow. This is just scrapbook paper and there are plan with me's for all of these, including the monthly on my channel. Um, this was my second week in March. I um, wanted to do a challenge for plaid, but I wanted to make it look kind of pastel and spring-like, so this is what I ended up with. I loved it. So pretty. I'm also doing 52 weeks of cats in this planner, so um, you'll see cats in all the spreads. Here was St. Patrick's Day week. So um, some stickers I printed myself, this one, and then some of the... Um, the Happy Planner uh, stickers in the in the shapes. Um, a little journaling card where I wrote down some memories of our St. Patrick's Day. And then the current week. So again, with the, this one has an overlay of mulberry paper um, for this sheet completely laid over top. So pretty cool. I haven't done um, my goals pages yet. I will get to those shortly. Okay, so enough about that. So here is just a normal setup planner, front and back cover, bookmark, but it's only got three months. It's super skinny. So to make this a transformer planner, you're going to open to the very, very back cover as if you were going to put more months in. And what you're going to do is put your next set of front and back covers in. Here's the tricky part. I say this every month. You're going to put your front cover on and you're going to put your back cover on as if your planner was laying open flat. So it's kind of confusing because I do reversible covers, but this is my front cover, this is my back cover, and here's the magical reason why. When I pick this up and let it swing shut, now I have a matching front and back cover. Front, back. Now when I open the front cover, I can put my social media right here and it will have transformed into a social media planner. So let's go into this month's social media. So for my social media planner, I have a big heavy plastic dashboard full of post-it notes, cats of course. So we'll put that over. So I'm just gonna pop everything in, pretending this stuff's not even here. Just set it up again like a normal planner with three months. So there's that. I got my, my title page and perpetual calendar. Grab my archive, and we're gonna open to the divider. So here's where February's gonna go. Same exact setup, just a, um, a placemat. Placemats are nice because they're big enough you can get the front and the back out of one placemat. So if you get something at the Dollar Tree, it's really convenient. Okay, so February's gonna move over into my archive. Okay, and then we have May right here, so we'll grab May. So then after my title page and perpetual calendar, I need to bring March over. So here is my March, and we'll do a flip through. That'll be past month. April will be present month. And then back into my archive, I'm going to grab May, and May will be future month. 
All right, so now I'm done with my social media archive. I need to put my bookmark in. So again, we're in the very last week in March when I'm filming this. So there is my monthly. You get a little cheater, get some videos that are coming. This is just basically where I put all my videos that are coming out each day so I can keep track of what I need to film next. This I frank and plan in the beginning of a monthly view. And this is where I write down all the different um, planner spread idea challenges. Sorry, I have hiccups all of a sudden. Um, so I will show um, setting this up when I do my, let's see, do I do, I'll, I'll show it at this video if I have time. Um, here is my first week in March. This is a Planners Anonymous book lovers kit, books and botanicals kit. I um, love the blues and greens in this. And this actually is the same kit that these papers came out of that I used to make this cover. So pretty. <clears throat> um, here is my second week. I used the Fearless or the Fierce kit, also from Planners Anonymous. Same kit that I used um, to do this monthly. I just stuck more to the washi tape on this one. Here is. Um, last week. So this is, I used the uh, piece of scrapbook paper and the pressed, the, um, some of the pressed floral stickers. Not too many of them because the scrapbook paper did enough, but it's pretty. And then here is my next week. So I used in this one, I used the, um, new books from Craftsmith and Planners Anonymous, um, that is at Michael's. So this was the other book lovers kit. All right, and then, so there's April, May, and I have a small notes section again at the end of my social media planner that I wanna put in the back. There we go. All right, so again now, so now when I close this, this set of covers, I have my social media planner matching front and back. Social media planner is front and center. If I go to the next set of co covers, here we go, transform. Now I have my catch-all planner front and center, matching front, matching back, catch-all planner. All right, so we got one more to put in here. I'm gonna go to the very, very back again. Just opened the back cover up. I'm gonna put my next set in. So this is going to be my health and wellness planner. So again, front cover in the front, back cover in the back. Grab my discs, flip it shut, and now I have social, I mean, uh, uh, health and wellness. So if we open the front cover, what's the first thing you see when you open your front cover? You see your um, name page, and I don't use the perpetual calendar in this, so I just used a piece of scrapbook paper to cover the back of the perpetual calendar in my health and wellness. Okay, so getting my wellness archive out, we need to move February to the archive. I don't have a notes section in my wellness planner, so I can just go ahead and grab May. And that is it. I'm done with my wellness archive. All right, so May is going to go, obviously, it's going to go in the back. March is gonna become my previous month. Let's put that in, getting full. And then April will be my current month. So we'll move that over. There we go. So for flip throughs, here's my March monthly. Here is my first week in March. And these are just magnetic bookmarks I've got covering up my way in. Nobody needs to see that. I don't even like looking at it. <laughs> this was Ladybug Week. Second week, I did succulents. Love the colored pens in these. Third week, I did Butterfly Skies, also a Planners Anonymous kit. And then last week, this is our current week. Um, I'm behind. <laughs> This is um, the Monstera Leaves. Uh, this is a, a Kaiser Craft sticker book. So that is how I set up my 
planner. Let me show you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and flip. Let me put my bookmark in. I'm going to go ahead and then, oops, this one's a little shorter. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I set up my challenge page in my social media planner. So there you go. I just transformed it again. It is a little fat. That's okay. Um, I'll switch discs if I need to. So if we go to my social media planner, boom. Okay, let's go to April. So for April, so what I do in my social media planner, I like to use my dashboard for social media, but I like, instead of having this page flip straight from calendar to the first of my dashboard spreads, I actually like to have um, those two pages of notes so I can have a couple habit trackers, and like I said, I can put all my challenges in here from Instagram and Facebook. And that's where I get my ideas for all the different spreads I do. I do several spreads a week. Um, and this is where all of my ideas come from. So this page is going to get taped back to back with whatever page I end up using as my first week spread in April. So I'm not going to do anything with that. This page I'm going to cut off and grab my paper trimmer. We're going to cut it off right at the edge where this line is so that I can keep access to this. I don't want to cover that up. And then what I'll do is I'll use washi tape to, to divide this into two columns, one for each week. April has five weeks in the month, so I'm going to divide this one into three columns, and I'll divide what's left of this one into two columns, and that way I'll have one, two, three, four, five columns, one for each week. I can write all the different challenge spread ideas um, for each week and then I can just choose what do I want to do in my dashboard or what do I want to do and it helps me plan out what my challenges are going to be each week how I'm going to decorate what my themes are going to be hopefully that makes sense so first thing I need to do is line this up and then I'm going to remove this top sheet, obviously I don't want to cut it. Don't need that. Don't have to punch that. And we're just going to put tape runner all over. I'm actually going to put it on the back of this sheet, just in case. Let me grab. Last time I tried to do this without protecting my desk and I got tape runner all over my desk. So I just have the backing of a piece of contact paper that I'm going to use. I'm just going to go all the way around the edge. So this again is Franken planning. I'm Franken planning a monthly together with a dashboard. I am going to go just a tiny bit in between the discs just to make sure that they turn together. Put a little in the center. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to line this up the best I can right around the punches. There we go. Let it fall. Boom. All right, so you can barely see it. So again, this is where I'm going to write my monthly challenges. So here's an example of March. So there were four weeks in March. So I have one, two, three, four. That's it, I put my little stickers on and I'm good to go. So this is how I set up a transformer planner. I hope you like this video. I hope it gets you excited to try setting up a transformer planner for yourself. It really has. I, I have used a transformer planner with these three sections for almost two years now, and it has been planner piece for me. I've made little tweaks. I didn't always Franken plan together a monthly in a dashboard, but I needed a place to put my challenges. I was using a mini that I kept in a drawer, and I was like, why? Why, why don't I just put them right in? Um, my social media planner where I need them to be. So I've made tweaks, but for the most part, this has been planner piece for me for quite some time now. So if you have been tempted to give it a try, go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You hate it and you pull it back apart and you have, and you put your three separate planners together again. Um, that's the beauty of a disc bound system. Super, super flexible. Do whatever you want with it. I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you the information you need to go ahead and take the plunge and try transformer planning for yourself. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.